What's going on everybody, David here. Today we're gonna to talk about the $450 back to work bonus and we'll also talk about the major flaw that I think it has. But first off on this channel, we talk about personal finance for travelers. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get future updates on my videos. So yesterday I did a video about the $450 back to work bonus and I talked a little bit about maybe if you change it around a little bit instead of $450 each week and you made it like a, a sign up bonus, maybe $4,000 sign up bonus, that it would be more enticing for people to really want to jump back into the job market. But I missed one major, major thing and the community brought it to my attention because I wasn't really thinking along these lines. And this is what's great about YouTube because People will let you know and they will they'll let you know the, the the strengths of stuff the weaknesses and this is really a weakness and this is one of the things I think will it, it can't go any further as far as the the way the the proposal is is written it's not gonna go any further unless this is addressed so I'm, I'm gonna do it in a story kind of format because I think it works a little bit better that way and it'll make people understand a little bit better uh, so this is one thing I didn't even think about and so let, let's look at it like this. Let's say you are a restaurant uh, boss, your owner. You own a restaurant and COVID-19 hits. And when COVID-19 hits, you pretty much have to lay off all of the people that are working because um, the, this, the restaurant's not completely closed. You can still do carry out. But let's say if you have 10 employees, you're only going to need maybe three employees to do the carry out. So you have a cook. You'll have someone that can can uh, take your money when you come in at the register, and then you'll have someone kind of overlooking everything and kind of helping out where, wherever needed. So let's say you only need three people uh, there, and so that happens, and you've you've laid off seven people, and so these seven people, there are, everyone in there is making minimum wage. So the seven people, they go, they get unemployment, and because of the way the CARES Act was designed they're now making more money on unemployment than they were when in the regular job. So they take unemployment for a couple of months and the people, the three people that are still there, they're probably your, your best employees, right? They're probably the people who've been there the longest, have the most experience, uh, have the seniority and all that. So those are the people that you keep on. Not saying that your, your other employees are not good employees. They're probably good employees, but they probably don't have that same length of time. So, and they don't have that same experience and they might not be able to run different aspects. They might not be able to cook and uh, work the register and all that. So you keep these three people, the seven people, they get on unemployment and they're now making more money to stay at home than these people are that are working. And so we come to today and now you have a proposal that's on the table and they're talking about, okay, we want to get people back to work. We've, we've started to reopen things and your restaurant is one that's started to reopen. Let's say you're at a 25% capacity. And so that means that you can hire, let's say a couple more people uh, back two maybe three more people back, right? Because now you can have people in the restaurant. You can have uh, customers in the restaurant sitting there eating and all that. So you're going to need a couple more waiters, or waitresses. You probably need an extra cook and also a person to seat people. So you're going to need some, some extra people. So you hire three more back on. Let's just say that. So you have three working there already and they've been working there the whole time. And then now you hire three back. And so those three people, they come back to their job. They're no longer receiving unemployment now, but guess what? They're getting the $450 a week, right? The people who have been working there the whole time, they're not getting $450 a week. They're getting their regular minimum wage and that's all. So how are those people going to feel? The people who have been working this whole time and putting themselves at risk because they're, they're, they're still, they still have customers coming in. They just get carry out and leave, but they're still putting themselves at risk due to COVID-19. How are those people going to feel? They didn't get any sign up bonus or anything. And I was even talking about, well, in, in the, the, the video that I did yesterday, I was even talking about sign up bonus. I like give them like $4,000 up front. What about the people who have been working this whole time? How are they going to feel about this whole situation? They're not going to be very happy, rightfully so, because they continue to work. They're probably the people who have the most seniority in that in that uh, at that restaurant, and now they're not going to be getting the benefit that these other people that are that have come back to work are getting. Not to mention those people who've come back to work, they were doing really well on unemployment. They were making more on unemployment than the people who were working this whole time and putting themselves at risk. So that's a major flaw, and I think. I don't know if Senator Portman has some type of contingency when it comes to that, 
but you're going to have a lot of people in the same situation where they'll be coming back to work and they'll be making more than the people who've been working the whole time. Now, some some companies have completely just laid off everyone, and so now they'll be bringing everyone back and they'll all be receiving the $450 per week. But you do have some companies that were still open. They didn't completely close, but they had to reduce their workforce. So that's, I mean, and this, like I said, this was brought to my attention. I didn't really think along those lines when I was doing the video, the fact that what about people who are still working? Or what about people who let's say you've just been working the whole time and you, you're not in this, this situation, but you've been working the whole time. You're not an essential worker, so you might not fall into a category where you can receive money as an essential worker, but you've just been working this whole time and you have people who are on unemployment making making pretty good money, some of, the, some of the people making pretty good money, and now they come back to work and they get even more money. And this whole time you've been working and you're not gonna get anything out of it. So it, I, I think it's, I understand what they're trying to do. I understand what Senator Portman is trying to do. He does want to, you know, incentivize people to come back to work. But you have to think about the people who have already been working. Like, what does that show them? That just shows them, like, wow, okay, these people, not only were they making more money on unemployment, but they're also going to get a bonus uh, to come back to work. So something that needs to be thought about. And obviously, this is just a proposal right now. And also... This is not going to, this is to address the unemployment situation. This is not to address like stimulus checks or anything like that. I think they would still have to have stimulus checks on the table for everyone. So there, there are going to be people who aren't going to qualify. Obviously, some people can't go back to work. Some people are not going to even have that option because some of these jobs are going to downsize in, to such a point where they're not going to be hiring people back anyway. So they'll never have an opportunity to get this $450. So, I think this is just to kind of get people back in the workforce and they still need to have other things in place. So more importantly, I want to know what you guys think. So down below, let me know what you think about this whole situation. Do you think it's really unfair for the people who have been working? Uh, please let me know that. If you guys have any other questions, please post it down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and check out these videos over here for some more great content. Talk to you later. Bye.